A former University of Utah police officer is accused of sharing explicit photos of murdered student Lauren McCluskey. It's drawing an internal investigation from the Logan Police Department, where he now works. ABC4's Jared Giottinetti is live at the University of Utah with the details. Good morning, Jared. Brian, good morning. Yeah, Logan Police Department is investigating because the man at the center all of all of this, Michael Darris, is now an employee of Logan Police Department, but a former employee of the University of Utah Campus Police. Now, there's a lot of information. Michael Darris is accused of showing a coworker explicit photos of Lauren McCluskey. McCluskey had sent the photos to campus police as part of an investigation. Now, the Salt Lake City Tribune reports Darris showed at least one coworker these pictures and was never disciplined. The newspaper also says the University of Utah campus police completed an internal affairs investigation in February when they, quote, were alerted to these allegations and found no evidence that Darris had shared or bragged about any photo from the 2018 investigation that wasn't considered a legitimate law enforcement reason. Now, Darris was one of the main investigators assigned to Lauren when she came to campus police saying she was receiving suspicious texts from the man who ended up killing her. Now, Lauren's mother, Jill, released a statement reading in part, Lauren was brave to report to the University of Utah confirmed that instead of arresting the man who was stalking and exploiting her, Officer Darris exploited her by downloading extorted pictures to his phone and showing them to another officer unrelated to the case. Now, Logan Police Department also released a statement reading in part, we are very concerned about this allegation and are starting our own investigation to determine the facts. Now, Darris is one of several defendants named in a $56 million federal lawsuit filed in 2019 against the University of Utah by by McCluskey's parents, alleging the university violated the federal law against gender discrimination. Now, McCluskey's attorney says that they will be releasing a statement around 1 p.m. in Murray.